Hi everyone, it's Esther here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm on my lunch break, so I have to make this a really quick live chat, but um, I just got my new vlogging camera, so I just wanted to share it with you all and unbox it here live. Um, I basically got this so that I could create higher quality videos. I had a DSLR, but I didn't get to use it much just because I would film myself on it and then I'd go back and look at the film and it would be blurry because there was no way for me to know if it was focused on me or not. So I got this camera, I sold my DSLR, and I'm just really, really excited and I want to share it with you all because you know you're all a part of my vlogging journey it's still a relatively new channel and I'm trying to learn as I go um, so just wanted to share my excitement with getting this new camera so I chose this one I was deciding between this and the Canon G7 X2 I think it was called but I ended up going with this because the f-stop range is much better than the Canon and um, this also shoots in 4k so that's a big plus um, and I really just needed a point and shoot with a flip screen that was my main thing so ended up deciding on this Panasonic LX10 so I'm going to unbox this for you guys I am so excited. And this little box is just adorable. <laughs> so it looks like here is a quick guide for 4K video or 4K photo, sorry. That will come in handy as I did not shoot in 4K before. And here we have our USB cable. battery and a little plug-in wall plug-in and a cute little strap okay and here's the exciting part my camera here it is super cute And here's the back. I'm gonna have to get used to where everything is. I had the um, Nikon D3300 DSLR camera before. So this is gonna be quite a change. Looks like this is where the battery goes in. So let's give it a go. It's such a tiny camera compared to what I had before. So it's going to be much easier to carry around with me as I'm vlogging. And I know a lot of my viewers on my channel, they're vloggers too. A lot of you are um, keto vloggers. So I also follow you guys. So I thought it'd be kind of cool. Do you know if the battery comes fully charged? I have no clue. I guess we're gonna find out right now. <laughs> it's a very good question. But I know a lot of you guys are vloggers as well, so I thought it'd be cool to share this little journey. Because I know I want to know about your vlogging journey and when you guys update technology. Okay, so it did come on, so it has some battery, but it looks like it's just one bar, so not very much. And it's probably going to take me through the setup based on what's coming up. I'm wondering if I should charge it first, though instead of going through all this because I'd hate for I to get halfway through and it not um, and it go dead on me. I don't know. Let's just try it and see. <laughs> I would. 
I don't know. So you guys think I should charge it first? <laughs> it would be better for the battery. Okay. I'm not very tech savvy, so it sounds like you know what you're talking about. So maybe I'll just trust you. So I'm going to turn it off. The little lens went back in. Just like a cell. Okay. And this is the screen that's supposed to flip up. I'm really just going to have to go through the instructions because I don't want to break anything. Knowing me, I will. And then there's the little dial. So... <laughs> Thank you. And I guess this is the button up here where I can shoot in 4K. I'm assuming because it says 4K. Here's the preview button, the menu. I think this is where, if I want to plug it in to like a TV or to my computer. And yeah, I mean, pretty simple, not much to it. But I know this was pretty quick. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and my excitement. I, like I said, I'm not very tech savvy, so I didn't go over too much all the specs and everything, um, but hopefully, it was a little helpful. But it does have an f-stop range of 1.4 to 2.8. So that really excites me because my camera before did not have that much of a range. So that's where you can get like really cool depth of field and um, get that blurry background effect that a lot of YouTubers do. All right, so I've got to get back to work. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And let me know if you want to share more of my vlogging journey, um, just kind of the behind the scenes thing. I'm really excited about this camera, so, um, and just excited to bring more high quality content to you guys. I do have a few videos that I already posted or already recorded um, on my cell phone, so they won't be as good of quality, but I'm gonna post those soon. And from here on out, I will be using this little thing. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.